Hello everybody, this is uh, Brandonia Productions here. Uh, uh, right now I'm on my old com old desktop, uh, and uh, since my laptop's microphones and its jacks are broken, I'm recording like a massive amount of videos on the, the desktop right now, so expect a lot of uploads. Okay, so today I'm going to be talking about my new software called Brandon's HTML IDE. Uh, this software is pretty much a HTML editor uh, that shows you what you're doing in real time. Okay, so let's download it. What you're going to want to do is head to brandonsoft.com. Once you get there, just press Files. And then you'll see Brandon's Timer 9 and Brandon's HTML IDE. I'm going to download Brandon's HTML IDE. Uh, to download this, you're going to need the .NET Framework 3.5. Uh, there's a link to it on my website on the files page. Okay. Uh, this comes in a zip package. It should download pretty fast. Just extract it and run. Uh, welcome to the setup stream wizard for Brennan Soft, Brennan's HTML. Yeah, why not? Okay, just yeah, mm -hmm. next yeah. Yeah, it already exists. Okay, so I'm gonna uh, reinstall it. Finish. Okay, now what we're gonna want to do? So you're gonna get this icon on the desktop. Uh, just double click it. You know, normally. That's what you would do. Okay, and as soon as it starts up, it automatically checks for updates. Uh, well, one thing I did figure out about this program is if you're on Vista, you're going to have to run it as administrator. Uh, oh, there's two of them running. Yeah, okay, so we don't want this. Don't send. Okay, so once it starts up, that was just because I opened two at one time. And once it starts up, this is going to appear minimized. It's the updater. Just accept. It's going to install the updates real fast. Okay. Um, once it loads up, you're going to get this uh, this HTML code already set. It's like got some advertisements. I need to put those on there because people wanted me to and stuff. So, yeah. So this is Brandon's HTML ID. Okay. Uh, what it what it does it takes your HTML code. So let's type in some HTML code. It's gonna the only thing that appears in blue right now is the HTML tag. Um, okay, so we're gonna make a head section uh, title tutorial title. Now it loads as I type. Uh, if if you can hear it refreshes. I don't know if you can hear it or not. You could yeah. So and the head. We're going to start the body. Now, as you notice, I have line indexes here. Those are very nice. Uh, you can go through and delete them, but they'll just reappear. Oh, that messes it up. Don't don't go through and delete them. Okay, I need to make that fix that bug. All right, so body. Then we're gonna do a line equals center. H1. This is a tutorial. And H1. Then we're going to say br to make a new line, say paragraph or h3, YouTube, and h3. Then we're going to end the body, and finally we're going to end the HTML. Okay, so this is a quick little HTML code I put together. Now if we go into the output viewer, see, it, it, this is what the HTML code does. It, it just shows us what we're doing. Uh, it's pretty nice. Now, this thing's got a few features, like you can check for updates. You get uh, start a new document with that, yeah. Uh, you can open a document, save a document, or you can exit, of course. It's also got the standard edit functions. Um, we got uh, tools here, like open in web browser, if we click this. It's going to open up our thing in a web browser, but it's going to be retarded. It, it, that's not fully working yet, so don't do that. Um, options. Okay, so we have view stacked or tab mode. Stacked mode is like right on top of each other like this uh, but it does not have the line indexes and it does not color things it's kind of a retarded view at the moment um, and then we go back to tab mode and they're all blue for some reason. What the heck yeah uh, that is weird uh, several bugs in us right now then we have the option to refresh, refresh automatically if we uncheck that if you notice we'll, we'll change this to H1, a little 
thing. I don't even know what that's called. And if you notice, it still says this is a tutorial. But if we press this refresh button up here, that changes it for us. That's cool if you're loading a big page, if you're typing up a big page. Uh, there's also insert, so we can insert a bold divider line. Then we're going to insert a link. Uh, Brandon, whoops. Jeez. HTTP BrandonSoft.com. Text of link. Go. Now, if we do output viewer and then refresh, it's going to have that bold line we put in and then the link. And the nice thing about this, if you click on links in here, it. it uh, stupid thing. Um, it'll open them in here. So, yeah. Uh, it also has a, an about section, of course, and a learn how. That'll just open up this little text document. That'll teach you a little bit about the program. And then, yeah. Um, some cool features about this program. Uh, soon it will have themes. Uh, it has its own updater. Uh, so yeah, it, it's gonna it's gonna be really great once it's done. Uh, I've been coding this myself for quite a while now. So p please feel free to head over, check this out, download it, uh, use it to type in your HTML code, test out HTML for new people to HTML. Okay, thanks for watching this tutorial. Please rate, comment, subscribe, donate if you wish. Um, yeah, thanks again.